Hey everybody, welcome to the SoCal Dram Tram. I'm Matt. I'm Caesar. And today we got a special one for you guys. Uh, today we got a we got a big boy bottle today, Caesar. Yeah, big this boy. is the McAllen Classic Cut 2019 edition. Woo! The big boy. That's right, McAllen Classic Cut. Now this is the I think it's the third release of the Classic Cut line. Again, this is the 2019 edition. Um, I don't know the exact output on this bottling, um, but Caesar, when you think of limited. What, what, what do you what do you define as limited release? I mean, I know that you collect some things, but like, what would you define as a limited release? If you had to put a number on how many bottles of there is of this in the world, what do you think it would be? A limited release. Yeah, limited release. Uh, for Macallan, now given I haven't tried a Macallan, but uh, I know it's popular. So if it's a limited release of a popular brand, I would assume it'd be two or three hundred bottles. Two or three hundred bottles. Yeah. Okay. So again, I don't know what the output was of this particular bottling because this is the 2019 edition. However, the 2018 edition was limited to 90,000 <laughs> bottles. <laughs> Yeah. Limited too. Limited, folks. <laughs> so yeah. if you're lucky enough. <laughs> so that, that just kind of gives you an idea of the output that McAllen has. Uh, McAllen is one of the largest distilleries, one of the largest organizations in whiskey, period, hard stop. I don't know if they're the largest, but they, I think I read or heard on another review, you'll have to forgive me, I forget where it came from, um, but I think they put out 15 million liters of alcohol a year. Not like just bottles, liters of alcohol. That is an insane amount of alcohol, folks. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, a little bit about this particular bottle. Uh, McAllen Classic Cut Limited 2019 Edition. The McAllen Classic Cut reveals an unrivaled commitment to the mastery of wood and spirit for which the McAllen has been known since it was established in 1824. Matured exclusively uh, in exceptional oak, ca oak cask seasoned with Oloroso Sherry from Jerez, Spain, the McAllen Classic Cut has been bottled by the McAllen Master Whiskey Maker to bring forth the full character of this timeless spirit. Again, limited, folks. Um, I picked this guy up at Costco um, because Costco's great. It was about 110 bucks. I've seen this bottle retail anywhere from about 85 uh, for the 2018 edition to about 160 at my local BevMo. BevMo's markup is insane. I was actually talking to my wife about this the other day. I just don't buy anything from them because they're so insanely high priced. Um, this is at cast strength. This is gonna be 52.9% uh, ABV. Most McAllen that I've had, I used to be a huge McAllen fanboy, um, and it, most of their expressions are presented at 43%. So this is a really close to cast strength offering, if not already considered cast strength. And uh, what cast strength is for you folks that may not really know whiskey as of yet, just kind of learning through us, uh, which by the way, uh, you're a saint trying to take up anything from us. <laughs> but what cast strength is, it's basically the closest alcohol percentage that you can get from just standing in front of the barrel and taking a sip. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit hotter than a normal expression. This is probably the hottest thing that we've tried uh, on this channel. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and dip our noses into it, kind of get into it. Uh, in terms of coins today, I'm actually using my uh, patron-only <laughs> Scotch for Dummies coin. That's right. I am a patron of the Scotch for Dummies. Shout out to the boys in Indiana. You guys are great. Thank you for the inspiration as always. Uh, the boys that really got me started in wanting to do this kind of a thing. Caesar, what coin are you using today? I got Scotch on the bayou, and then uh, I got my, yeah. That's my coaster coin. I love it. All right, so let's get into the nose and kind of see what we get. What Ooh, are you getting right off the bat? Now, full disclosure, folks. Ooh, I've had McAllen before. I haven't had this particular bottling, but I've had uh, the 12 double cask. I've had the 12 year sherry. It used to be a really good favorite bottle of mine. I've had the 15. I forget if it was the triple uh, cask. I can't remember. Um, but I used to be a huge McAllen uh, fan. But then I kind of started coming across different distilleries and some other ones that have really kind of just grabbed me. And uh, it's not to say I don't like McAllen, but their price point is pretty high. You are paying a little bit of a premium for the name. Uh, this is the apple of scotches, if you will. <laughs> um, but anyway, what are you getting? Well, first off, uh, to add to that note, that's one of the reasons why I've stayed away from it, uh, getting into my uh, whiskey palette, because 
I know it's it, it's a big it's a big name for sure and I'd rather try some stuff that's not big name before I get into it and also because you know a lot of the independent distillers tend to have their own flavors where, where it's better to not hop on the bandwagon so to say um, but I am very excited to try it because you know it, it maintains a reputation and uh, on the nose actually right away I definitely get like like a fresh orange zest like it's it's incredible like like that just like the orange part though you know like zest technically like don't get into that white part like th that fresh orange zest and uh, some of you folks might might think that's like a sweet because when you think of orange you think of good sweet orange but this isn't technically sweet it's just that that deep aroma flavor if you were to take out the impurities such as you know like let's just say it had a sugar and take take everything out like cocoa if you take the milk sugar out and you just smell cocoa it's just dark rich chocolate it's not sweet at all uh this i think is the equivalent to orange zest like you take out any other element that might bring that might come to mind as you're smelling it or tasting it and as long as you just get that straight orange zest that's what i get right here on this palette I'll tell you, at 52%, it certainly doesn't nose like it. And on the palate, I went ahead and took a little sip. You know me, I'm a sherry. I'm a sherry guy. <laughs> I, I look I look for sherried whiskeys. Sherry popping and, uh, animal. This is definitely there. It's not as dark as some of the other sherries, which, by the way, this is not chill filtered. There's no color added in McAllen, or so they say. Um, and this is all barrel influence, folks. Yeah, yeah folks, no color added. That That's actually some sweet stuff. That's some sweet stuff. When... When you see that on the bottle and you're like, ah, why are they saying that for? Well, because look how sweet, you know, and creamy that looks without having to add the color to it like other stuff that doesn't label that on the bottles. And it's not to say adding color is a bad thing. It's just saying that some distilleries have to do it. There's a lot of different influences that go into bottling a whiskey. Maybe to remain consistent across your expressions, you have to add a little bit of color. Does it impart flavor? I don't know. We don't have E150 to try that. Uh, maybe one day we'll pick some up and just kind of do a little experiment. We'll see. Um, but I got to tell you, <laughs> on the palate, this is good. This, this is something that I really enjoy. I get that orange flavor you're talking about on the nose. Um, get a little bit of that cinnamon, some sweet vanilla from the oak casking. Um, it's got a little bit of a punch. It's not a punch in the face, but, but it's it's got but some punch. Like if there was a guy on the railroad or on the runway strip, he'd be going like this, meaning land, please land. Because although it punches you in the face with the alcohol, like it, the way it comes down, it's not like... Eh, uh, no, it's like, whew, come in for the landing, baby. Ooh, and it's just a smooth ride all the way through. Especially, I actually taste a little bit of nutmeg in there too. So when I get that, that little bit of hint of sweetness and then there comes the alcohol where you're like scared. You're like, oh man, it's gonna burn. But it's like, nope, let it open, let it come through. The air is clear for landing and the, the, the alcohol just finishes nice and smooth. And I must say, I, I'm definitely more excited for this now that I've actually had it. I mean, this, this, this is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, McAllen has a standard and the, this is no exception to that rule. Um, I will say I have liked the 12s. Uh, some people do get a little bit of kind of a sour sulfur chemical note on McAllen's. I'm not getting that here though. Definitely not. Um, I have gotten like, for me, it's acetone. For me, it's like nail polish remover. That's just what I equate that hot alcohol to. Um, but I'm not getting that here. And this None is of that. really good. Now, I can't speak for the 2018 or the 2017 editions, but this one's solid. Now, keep in mind, folks, typically when you have a neck pour or something fresh of something high on alcohol, or even if it's not high in alcohol, uh, it'll taste higher in alcohol than normal because of that neck pour. No aeration, just very little air in there, uh, nothing to keep the cycle going. So that first little bit is gonna be the hottest bit. It's gonna be the, the most spicy you're gonna taste because it hasn't let air touch it. The more you go through it, the more you know the air will touch it, the better it tastes. However, for this 52% and having the neck pour and having that finish land so smoothly with that high alcohol content, McAllen, I must say, my hat's off to you. You definitely did a good job with that. So th there's one person that I know that's uh, anxious anxiously awaiting a review of a McAllen from us. And Rob, you got to try this. Um, I know we spoke a little bit about kind of 
the McCallums that you've liked, different whiskeys, things like that. Uh, this is something that I think you're not going to be disappointed in. Yeah, it's a pretty penny. You're, you're going to pay out the nose for it. Your wallet's going to look like John Travolta from Pulp Fiction looking for something in the room for sure. But this is an exceptional glass. And at 110 bucks, you know, I'm thinking back when I bought the 15. Well worth it. Well worth it. When I bought the 15, it was more than that. I want to say I spent about 150 on that. And it's been a minute since I bought that bottle, so I could be wrong. But for 110, I would buy this all day long. Um, I'm thinking about going back to Costco and picking up a bottle of 2019 just to have in the bar for eventually when we finish this. Is this something that I'm gonna hit every night? No. Is it something that I'm gonna leave exclusively for special occasions? Uh, no, but it's something that's really good. Um, if you're looking to kind of get into that cast strength, higher alcohol percentage whiskey, this is a great way to start off. Um, I did add a fair amount of water on this and it can take it. Um, it's, it hasn't killed it. Um, I couldn't tell you what you know percentage I'm at, but I added a pretty hefty pour of water and I'm thinking about adding a little more just to see what it does to it. Um, I get that orange, I get the vanilla, get a little bit of honey, almost some confectious like powdered sugar sweetness. Um, almost, honestly, it's funnel cake. <laughs> it's funnel cake to me. Funnel cake with like a little bit of like, uh, a berried jam, like you get it like Knott's Berry Farm for those who don't you know live what? in Southern that, California that, that, or go to the fair. That, that's what I'm getting here. And man, it's it's delicious. Is it the best sherry whiskey I have had or even have on this bar? Uh, it's up there. Is it the best one? I don't know. We got some reviews coming down the pipe that you're going to see us kind of geek out about. But yeah, even with water, this thing handles it. Have you had it with water yet? Yeah, I actually added some water. And to add a note, like what I said in my previous videos, a lot of high quality whiskeys do change for the better or dramatically when you add water. This, my, my friends, I, I would consider a high quality whiskey, but it didn't change too much, which is why I can see why Matt is adding more water because it didn't change too much water. Now, now that's not to say it's bad because it's amazing. It's uh, like I'm saying, but uh, the flavors I got with adding water were still the same. It goes to show that that alcohol is pushing through, you know, stronger than most notes. However, I mean, from the get-go, you don't taste that, which is the magic of this because, I mean, if you have such a high alcohol percentage and you're making it land so smoothly, it kind of blows my mind. So that alone, like, has my mind blown, you know, for the record that McAllen has the talent to be able to pursue that right there. Yeah, and a fun little fact about McAllen, um, if you haven't had a chance to look them up in terms of, you know, if you're new to this whole game, um, look up pictures of their new distillery. It's it's something else. Um, Sean from Scotch for Dummies, again, shout out to the boys in Indiana, um, compared it to a hobbit hole. Um, if you haven't seen pictures of it or seen videos of it, just go check it out. It's a really cool distillery. Um, if they're putting out juice like this, uh, they're going to keep me coming back for more. That's for definitely, sure. Definitely. Definitely. Um, you got anything else to add to this glass? Yeah. How about we rate it? That's probably a good idea. Would hate to forget it. <laughs> so as far as uh, trams, I'd like to add to this. I'll probably give it a solid four. A solid four out of five. I mean, I mean five is perfect. And although this is amazing, uh, it doesn't deserve a perfect, but it definitely deserves that. Hey, you should try it out for sure, no matter what. So it's all at four. Yeah, I, I think I'm with you with that four. Um, the, the price is a little high. I know that it's McAllen. I know that you're going to be paying a little bit of a premium. Like I said, this is kind of like the apple of scotches. Um, however, uh, at 110 bucks for 52% alcohol um, and for you know, what's in the bottle, I, I'd have to be with you. I'd have to say this is four cars hooked up to the tram right away. Um, well, guys, go ahead, like, share, subscribe. Uh, go ahead and hit that little bell for notifications whenever we post a new video. If you follow, if you don't follow us already, check us out on Instagram, at SoCalDramTram. And uh, Caesar, you got anything else to add? All aboard. Woo -woo. Catch you next time.